Some men just want to watch the world burn. Okay, enough with the super villain arc. Welcome back to the third episode of Kachunk. We are starting this one off with a big triple level. Level 60 wood cutting, level 50 fire making, and 600 total. That was just as some light AF king to do while I'm editing the videos, but it's really nice to have 50 fire making out of the way whenever we get to winter thought. And 60 wood cutting is very useful for two reasons we can cut U logs and we can make waka canoes that we can use to transport into the wilderness. I've also been picking up some steel blade leg spawns here from the web chasm and we have a nice amount indeed. 420 steel blade legs and 690 oak logs banked. So in the previous episodes we green locked firefighter and we green locked obor combat achievements and we are up to total 18 points unlocked. And this episode we are going to complete the easy tier of combat achievements, the first tier that we can do. So we need 15 more points to unlock the easy tier. And we are going to be starting off at the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness. For that we are going to want a staff of fire and some runes so we can cast probably firebolt I think. Will be good enough to kill him. This is my best magic gear at the moment. The wizards had a black road from the Ankus, then just some boots, gloves and capes and the staff of fire, a plus 15 magic attack bonus. Nothing too crazy, but at least something. The crazy archaeologist has only four combat achievements that we can do, totaling up to a nine points. First one being killing the crazy archaeologist ten times, killing him with only magical attacks, which is going to be very easy, killing him without being hit by the rain of knowledge attack, and then killing him 25 times. So all of his combat achievements are pretty easy to do and shouldn't be no problem at all. Now I want to make sure I'm not breaking any rules and I'm stepping from this corner tile to the other corner tile like so. Here we are, there's the crazy archaeologist, time to get the first kill and see how we do. Well, we got hit, so there's one combat achievement that we can't do. There we go, first kill, not a problem, a muddy key, and a combat achievement, Mage of the Ruins for 2 points, very nice. Now only 24 more kills and we are done with Crazy Archaeologist. Second kill, and I think this time, yes, we get the I'd rather not learn combat achievement and another muddy key, that's weird. But that's 2 more combat achievement points, 2 more chunk unlocks. Third kill. Red Dehyde Body, that's a direct upgrade and that's very very good actually. Nice. We are banking this bad boy. Compared to our previous best in slot which was the studded body, this has plus 17 range and a lot of magic defense and all sorts of other defenses as well so uh, we can't actually wield it yet because we don't have 60 range but anyways this is a huge upgrade. Fourth kill, a shark. Fifth kill, Oh, the rune crossbows. This is one of the items that I was looking for. This is amazing. Oh man, fifth kill. That was <laughs> extremely lucky. Five kills and we got both the rune crossbows and the red dehyde body. And I just remember that Thessalia here sells the priest gown. I think this gives at least some sort of a prayer bonus. Yeah, plus three prayer bonus. Um, Not much, but we'll take it. I also went back to get the top piece of the gown, so now we are using a waka canoe for the first time to go into the ferox enclave. I think this should be some sort of an achievement, maybe? Nope, it wasn't. Mudrunes on kill number 6. Kill number 7. 
for a loop half of the key. Kill number eight for <laughs> yet another set of rune crossbows. I don't really need this many, but I'll take it. I sincerely apologize for anyone going dry for the he's at the crazy archaeologist. Hey, 57 magic. Kill number nine. A rusty sword. And 10 kills for the medium combat task, crazy archaeologist champion, and another <laughs> rusty sword. So we have completed all the medium combat tasks from crazy archaeologist. Now we just need the one hard task, which is 25 kills. So 15 more to go shouldn't be a problem at all. Now we have six combat achievement points, six chunk unlocks stored up. So let's use a few of those to unlock Alcarid. And this unlocks the plate leg shop where we can sell these nice stack of 420 plate legs that we have stored up. So we get some more money and we get some more chaos and death runes so that we can keep killing the crazy archaeologist. Here we go. Welcome to Alcarid. So these go for 650 GP each, selling five at a time should get us somewhere around 260k if I'm not mistaken. So this is a nice stack of cash that we are going to get from here. And the last set of five plate legs that should get us to pretty much 265k. And it's spent, 160k spent on runes that should do for the rest of the kills that we need. KC number 11. Oh, the Amulet of Power. This is the last thing they really needed from here. So we now have the Amulet of Power, the Rune Crossbows, and the Red Dehyde Buddy. And this is a huge upgrade for me. Look at all the attack bonuses and all the even strength bonuses and everything. Yeah, this is very nice. Kill number 12 for some Red Dehyde. Kill number 14 for some Onyx Bolt Tips. They are valuable, but not that valuable before I can fletch them. KC18. Another Amulet of Power. I'll take it. 20 KC, and that's Rune Cross post number 5 and 6. Oh boy. Kill number 21. Nope. Uh, nope, I did not just get another set of Rune Cross posts. Nope. Nope. And the last kill number 25. We get a shark, but that's okay. Crazy Archaeologist Adept 3 Combat Achievement Points, we are done here. And there it is, a green logged Crazy Archaeologist Combat Achievement Log. Pretty beautiful. So we have 7 Combat Achievement Points unlocked and we have this Ferry to Anka unlocked. So let's unlock the Ruins of Unka, or Anka, and then also the Boat to Temporos, and then the Temporos Cov itself. And then also we are unlocking the way from Barbarian Village all the way to Tavali. Laxo and also the Druidic Circle, and you'll see in just a few moments why. But first, let's go ahead and check the ruins of Unka. Unka? Unka? Un Unka? Okay. Mr. Spirit Angler, I would take your net. Thank you. Ferry back to Alcarid. And now we're gonna start training fishing, which is pretty cool. I think I need 34 fishing for Temporo, so I'm gonna get that while I am editing and AFKing. Starting off at level 7, shouldn't take too long to get 34. And there it is, it's actually 35 that we need for Tempora, so that's all done. And I also got my cooking to level 48, which is a pretty nice bonus. So at this point we are only 6 points away from completing the easy tier of combat achievements. I want to try to kill the Chaos Fanatic next for a few combat achievements, but I need 60 range to use the Rune Crossbow against him. So it's time to do some range training and then head back into the wilderness. And this is where I will be mostly training my range, probably. I have 54 range at the moment, I need basically 150,000 XP. We are getting about 25k per hour, so this is gonna be like a 6-7 to seven hour grind. But Mammoths are kind of the best available monster to me at the moment. They have very high hit points with 130 HP, low defense, and they are very easy to access right below Ferox Enclave here. And they have some decent drops in seeds and herbs and stuff like that. So I'll see you when we hit 61 range in about 8 hours. And there we go, 61 range, we can now use the rune crossbow, we are already using the red dehyde buddy as you can see. And I will put all of the loot that we got from the mammoths on the screen for you to see, so you can see that we got a lot of acorns, a lot of good seeds that we can use to kickstart our farming training at some point.
Now let's take out our Mithril Bolts, one of our <laughs> eight rune crossbows that we have. And this should be the good gear that we are rolling with. Let's see how is this going. Yeah, this is fine. I'm probably not going to bring all of my Mithril Bolts because this is everything that I have. These are from Chaos Druids, I think, early on in the episode one or something. I'll take like uh, 200, maybe 100. Yeah, 100 should be enough. And then we are going to need some curry or pies or something that will leave our inventory full when we kill the Chaos Fanatic. And yeah, I think this is the setup. Let's go and give it a try. Well, it has been about two months since that last clip. I had my summer vacation. I had a few sports events that I intended to. Uh, Diablo 4 came out. I've been playing that a lot and all sorts of stuff like that. But I haven't been completely out of this account either. I've been doing some crafting training. First of all, I got my crafting to 34 to make some ruby rings. And those I used to get my smithing and mining up. So I mined some iron ore and did some smithing because I realized that the mithril bolts that I have will probably not be enough. So I made 2000 steel bolts to accompany the mithril bolts as well. So these should definitely be enough to finish the combat achievements that we need from the Chaos Fanatic. I also made some rings of recoil and all sorts of other rings and rings of duelings and uh, games necklaces and stuff like this. And this will be very helpful in uh, a lot of ways, to be honest. And I also got my prayer to 51. I used most of the big bones and all of the dragon bones that I have. I think we have like 70 something, 75. Yeah, 75 big bones left. I used everything else at the Chaos Altar in uh, Wilderness. And I got my prayer to 51, so this should make it a little bit easier as well to kill the Chaos Fanatic. But without further ado, I'm back and let's go ahead and give this a try. Here we go, first attempt at the Chaos Fanatic. So I'm basically just going to flick uh, protect from magic and eagle eye and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And this should be it. Yes, first kill. Let's go. We can do it. Oh, an ancient staff on the first kill. I didn't expect that one. Uh, we can't really do anything with it. I think I can't even wield it if I do Desert Treasure 1, but... Well, it's a 60k High Elk, so... Forgot to record it, but I get a second kill and five battle staffs. Third kill, and we get Wines of Samrak. Okay. Fourth kill, and I think we should get a combat achievement. Yes, two points for uh, not getting hit by the green AoE attack thingy. Kill number five. Monkfish. Kill number six. Some more gems, okay. Seven KC, KS Talisman. Kill number eight. And Chubby Pizzas. Number nine, and more Monkfish. And the last kill that we are gonna take here, number 10, a full prey potion, and the combat achievement KS Fanatic Champion, which is just 10 kills of KS Fanatic. So that's a four points from KS Fanatic, and we are basically done here. I actually didn't even need the uh, steel bolts that I made. I have nine mithril bolts left. So we only need two more points to get the first tier of combat gyms done. And I'm gonna do killing a black dragon and then the hellhound thing, a demon's best friend, killing a hellhound. Both of these can be very easily done at the Savali dungeon, which is right around here that we just unlocked a minute ago. So I'm gonna head there and we are gonna get those two combat gym points knocked out. A hellhound is killed, a demon's best friend for one point. Oof, that take a while, but 
that is the final combat achievement point. Big, black and fiery. You have completed enough combat achievement tasks to unlock the easy tier rewards. Let's go. We have done it. And we get a little rune longsword. Hey, not too bad. So we have six points available. Let's unlock Berthorpe and then the Warriors Guild. And we can then go ahead and claim our easy tier rewards from Gommel. I'm also going to unlock Felador, and I want to check one thing before I unlock anything else. So let's teleport to Felador and see if we can actually walk through that little corridor that you can see on the map. So this one, yeah, I think we can actually walk through here. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, good. So we also can unlock the chunks just south of this. There we go, and then also Pots of Rim. So now we have a full access to Pots of Rim and Falador and that farming patch right next to Falador, and that's gonna be very nice. Do I know you? You seem oddly familiar. Well, I mean, I do have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so... Thanks, by the way, everyone. No, that's not it. I could have sworn I have seen your face before. Hmm, that's weird. Well, anyways, you got any rewards for me? Sure. And there we go, the easy tier rewards. We get the Gommel's Hilt, which gives us easy clues, increased max quantities when giving bossly attacks, bonus tokens from the Warrior's Guild, and pest control. Nice. And we also get this ancient lamp. I think we need level 20 to do anything with this. Yeah. So I do want to put that on Herb lore eventually, so I'm gonna save it for now. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to drop a like to see more videos like this. I just reached 1000 subscribers, so thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. And if you haven't, consider doing so now. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next episode.